Hey everybody, it's Ken, and for my last video of 2023, I wanted to talk a little bit about one of those techniques that a lot of people use to help manage their symptoms of depression and anxiety. But for me, it has never really worked that well, and that tool is journaling. 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 Journaling is surprisingly good for you. Journaling. I hate it. Now, understand, I want this to be the perfect fit for me because I love fountain pens. I actually like writing stuff down by hand. I just cannot keep up a journal. Now, I've also tried technology, right? That's my go-to. I love gadgets. I love software. And even that hasn't helped. And it makes me feel like I'm missing out or that I'm a failure because so many people, it seems like everywhere I turn, it's all journal, journal, journal. It'll help magically bring everything into focus as far as your depression and anxiety goes. And it just, I just can't do it. I've tried regular Microsoft Word. I tried Evernote back in the day, Microsoft OneNote. There's this app that I've tried two separate times now called Dailyo, which I love for the little emojis that you can choose from to d display at a glance how you're feeling. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't, it, it's still, you know, I, I, eventually I'm doing it just to do it, right? Because the persistent reminders are nagging me to do it. And so I make an entry and it's not a good entry. I'm not sitting down and thoughtfully, you know, writing out how I'm feeling. And so at that point, it's like, why am I even bothering? And there's another one called day one, which I had the best of intentions with. And again, same thing. I started using it and I just, I just cannot keep it going. Karina loves day one. She uses that to log everything. She is very good at it. I think she's got like a streak of 750 some odd days of never missing an entry, which is just boggles my mind. And again, I've got like a few actual paper journals that are each about a third of the way full, maybe. Uh, I just I just cannot stay with it. I am very, very bad at journaling. I even tried Apple's state of mind thing. That's part of their health app. Same thing with that. I just, I get tired of doing it just very quickly after, you know, a couple months. I'm just like, no, no, I'm done. So I'm gonna give it one final try. Apple actually has a dedicated journal app that they finally released now uh, as part of iOS 17, and I'm going to give it a shot. My one, I guess, compromise concession to this process is going to be using the hopefully improved Siri dictation so that I can just talk through my entries. But what about you? I, if any of you have actually made a go of journaling and made it work for you. I'd love to hear how you did it because I can't seem to do it. And for those of you who might be in my situation, how do you not feel like a gigantic failure for not being able to do something that seemingly so many other people are able to pull off? And either way, I would love to hear your experiences with journaling. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for this one. And this is the last video of 2023, so until 2024, I will see you later. Take care.